Okay, good day, guys. Um, let's see, a bunch of stuff came to us. Trump's doing an amazing job to get rid of the cabal and deep state. It's a bigger job than the Second World War. Oh my God, it's a bigger job than the Second World War, you guys. And that took five and a half years. Do you know what's funny? This morning I was meditating and I was looking at how many years it's going to take to get rid of the underground military dumps. And I was saying that the information that we've been reporting on, do you guys realize these military bases that they're taking out, that have take, they've taken out already, they actually started taking them out from, I want to say 2017. So if they started taking them out from 2017, now originally it was reported to us that 90% of them were taken out in the so-called United States, Morocco, Maghreb, the North Gate. However, um, recently Jean was saying that they were taking out the ones in um hang on one second yeah so what was i saying no the ones in the caribbean south america they were saying it was only 18 percent or was the was it the ones around the rest of the world that was 18 percent taken out so i was saying maybe we're up to 20 percent or 25 percent now since that last report right but i was looking at the timeline and i was saying doesn't that mean it's going to take at least three years for it to reach like 50% and then another three years for it to reach 75 and another three. So we're looking at like 10 years, you guys. Do you see what I'm saying? That's crazy, eh? Anyways, back to this. It's a bigger job than the Second World War and that took five and a half years. This has taken Trump and the alliance only six to eight months charlie ward um said um charlie ward has worked and has been friends with chart with the chinese elders for over 15 years huh charlie ward has worked and been friends with the with the chinese elders for over 15 years he was highly trusted in the financial world and has moved money around the globe I was just listening to Charlie Ward on his show and he was saying that, um, okay, let me see if I can explain this. He is on the back end in lieu of the financial reset. And so he just signed a non-disclosure agreement and he'll be helping to move the funds around to um, all the different institutions um, internationally so that there's enough funds to do the trades basically whenever they happen, right? Charlie Ward um, has worked and has been friends with the Chinese elders for over 15 years. He is highly trusted in the financial world and has moved money around the globe to private clients, ranging from the super rich to different global governments. The past year, this past year, his team moved US gold out of the Vatican Bank, out of the Vatican back to Fort Knox and other U.S. Treasury locations. Presently, he was moving. Every time I hear that, I think about the movie Die Hard. I think about the movie Die Hard in the scene where they had stolen the gold from Fort Knox and they moved it over to, was it Ottawa? Anyways, so um, this past year, this team moved U.S. gold out of the Vatican back to Fort Knox and other U.S. Treasury locations. Presently, he was moving monies, gold, and valuables for the global currency reset. A lot of Ward's info came from what he called the four walls of power, which involved, uh, which included the White House. Um, he was directly connected to the Trump team he has been a main contact to release information, though not all. Yeah, he's saying that there's a lot of stuff he can't talk about now. Um, from the Alliance since being under, yeah, he's under a national, um, a non-disclosure agreement um, for the last two months. Okay, hang on. Um, bond redemption. Hang on.
militaries around the globe were placed on high alert for a global currency reset. There's people cashing in right now. It's being done in tears. I got a very complex email this morning about it telling me what was happening. I know people based in Hong Kong who've already cashed in. I've contacted, um, I've been contacted to take over a serious amount of currency, Zim bonds, from Mexico to China to be redeemed, from Spain to China to be redeemed. They've got huge volumes. There's a process to exchange redemption. You have to apply. Um, they'll send you an email. There's a process, there's a process to exchange redemption. You have to apply, they'll send you an email um, to take where um, you take your currencies to a redemption center at a specified time and they tell you what it's worth. But before they tell you what it's worth, you sign a non-disclosure agreement and cannot disclose to anybody what you've been given. If a person's exchanged um, and lets out the rate, chances are that person. The only problem with that, Charlie Ward, you guys, is those people who are um, injured, um, mentally incapacitated, that don't have memory to even remember anything about a non-disclosure agreement. So you have to make certain that those people I always look out for the people who are disabled, eh? Um, keep it quiet. A new communications monitoring system of social media posts, email, text messages, Discord, DMS, DM, sorry, phone conversations, etc. became effective through the NA. What is this? National Security Administration and Military Intel, DIA. After you digitally signed a non-disclosure agreement to obtain an exchange redemption appointment and then another non-disclosure agreement at your appointment, you would be legally obligated not to discuss or write anything about the global currency reset, redemption exchange revaluation, RV currency exchange rates, and quantum financial system. for at least 90 days in whatever time period on your non-disclosure agreement or whatever time period was on your NDAs. On the Restored Republic, we passed the critical point for Trump to win the election. I don't see an election though. I just see it continuing. I just see Trump continuing. Because I don't see how people are going to vote for corruption. Like That doesn't make any sense to me. Anyways, um, we passed the critical point for Trump to win the election when the alliance took over. The 13 Illuminati families took the U.S. gold back from the Vatican and placed... The Federal Reserve, God, I got up at two o'clock this morning, you guys, I'm feeling it now, took the U.S. gold back from the Vatican and placed the Federal Reserve under the new U.S. Treasury. The alliance is now, the alliance is now in control of the cabal, which control political parties worldwide. Though so the first 10 days of November would be very important. Um, the Biden, Biden business associate, Tony Bobaluzlinski, 
Bubble links. What? Linsky linked Joe Biden to money laundering in China. If convicted. He's already been convicted, charged, and hung and, and taken out. It's hard for me to read this stuff, man. Both him and his son, all of them are done. Um, you're looking at clones, people. If convicted of such a treasonous act charge, Biden would not be eligible. That's what I'm saying. He's already been taken out. He's not eligible to office. He doesn't exist. Uh, let alone run for U.S. president. Um, polls showed that Kamala, she's another one. Kamala Harris was also involved, eh? Was among other prominent Democrats who were part of the Biden money laundering scheme, according to Fox News reporter Brooks, Brooke Singman. I'm going to put this in the description below so you guys will be able to know what's going on. All right, Gene Decode reported that mm, before the end of October 2020, Biden, Hillary Clinton, and John Brennan would be brought up on charges of treason for the murder of SEAL Team 6. Charlie Ward reported that both he and the White, Ho the White House were recently given a 1,500-page dossier from the South African government proving that Queen Elizabeth, the royal family, the Obamas, Biden, and Clintons, just called the Chinese Communist Party agents because it's easier to say it's like that than the CCP than saying all that. It doesn't make any sense. They're one, they're one group. Among others were lit what? litigated in a court of law and found guilty of stealing tr trillions in gold and other assets from South Africa. Hence that 1,500-page dossier. Um, yeah, I'm not going into that today. Just deal with all of that other stuff, eh? Trump was predicted to win the election in a landslide with indictments on global elites delivered shortly after, right? Along with implementation of Nassara, Jassara, uh, for all countries worldwide. Yeah, I see all of that stuff already happening. It's, I can't even go there with you guys this morning. Now, um, so there's some stuff happening here. We've had some weather the past couple of days. Yesterday, we were reporting to you guys that they have to remove the Bush's attention office of Interpol, the International Criminal World Court. The Army, the Navy, the Military, the Marines, Donald Trump, the United States Patent, the United States Federal Trade Commission, Antitrust Department heads, Jay Clayton doing business as Securities and Exchange Commissioner, also Frank, Frank, <laughs> also Joseph Odding doing business as Comptroller of Currency Head, also um, Louis DeJoy doing business as Postmaster General, the Federal Bureau Investigations heads, Interpol, and the Fraud Department heads. I come to you in good faith and one's proper person as a living flesh and blood sentient being, Surrey Juris, Surrey Eris. Heir to the world's vastest state, holding the highest diplomatic office, AA222141, the true original only government on the planet. Um, Moabite, Hittite, Canaanite queen, Reubenite tribe chief, American Indian, Alodial title, Moorish American national, asexual seed plant, Rubus, red rose, angel in Latin. I come to you in good faith. I stand my ground here and for the record, I command and order you now to... Check this weather modification program. Is it still in effect here? If so, shut it down here. Now, as you know, we've had a lot of rains the past, well, good week or so now, guys. And what's happening is the roadways and stuff, the bush stuff has to be cleared. There's a lot of trees down. We're, it's been reported to us this morning that some areas have completely washed away. St. And I want to say St. Thomas and some other areas around it. Go and check and see. They reported to us that a man was buried alive in an avalanche under the ground, right? Um, I think they had to, they managed to lift him out. I don't think he survived. But um, see if that's a part of it or are they blowing up underground military bases with the submarine, with the help of the submarine ships. Cause I'm seeing so many different things 
at the same time going on. It's difficult to decipher all of it. In addition to the fact that we're talking about infrastructure here, right? The new buildings that are going up and the existing ones that are here and stuff. They must have a shelter, an awning, um, a veranda, some covering for the people. To... What we saw last night, you guys, was so disheartening. Just picture this. So we go down to the, it's a seaside town, right? So we went to check the water levels and we saw the, the water in the, the sea was rising. And as the water in the sea was rising, the barges and the, where the port is here, the water was coming over the port, eh? The barges or whatever. So the people are now selling their goods. It's Saturday night and the market vendors are trying to finish selling their stuff, right? So they can go home and feed their families and stuff too. Do you know these corrupt agents doing business as the Chinese Communist Party heads here, known as the PNP and the JLP parties that's been in power since the beginning of time, since I can remember. <sighs> here are the people, you guys, have their goods on the roadside. They don't have nothing. They're literally have the food sprawled out on the ground, right? Rain, sleet, you name it, is just pelting the people and they've got no protection, none, zilch, nothing. Aside from the fact a couple of them had bought some umbrellas, that was it. So we're going to go and build up this place properly with the vendors in mind first, because without the farmers, nothing else exists. So all the, the, the businesses selling their, their goods inside of it, they must provide shelter and a place for the people to sell their, their goods, their, their farm goods and the stuff that they get. So the heirs here can survive, the people can survive, right? Um, because the stuff the stores sell, people don't have access to those things, right? So sometimes you'll see some vendors that will get, buy some of the stuff the Chinese people are selling in bulk, and then they'll walk along the roadway and sell those things to a, from the so-called dollar stores that they have here. But the most of the stuff that they're selling are produce and provisions, right? But they have to have a way to be protected and covered. You can't expect the people to be outside in this torrential rain downpouring with no protection, say that's wickedness, right? So you got to provide proper infra infrastructure. I was heartbroken yesterday watching it. The only places that had an awning and protections was hurry, hurry. This man who has these stores all across the island, he's now passed on. So his children took it over. I heard there, I think they sold the golf course. They said he has some other businesses as well. Uh, Scotia bank. I was grateful to see that they had one. Um, JPS could do a hell of a lot better. They didn't have none. It was a practically a new building. They could have a proper space there. Jackie Chan, I can't remember if Jackie Chan had one or not. I don't think so. He could put one there. And then um, who else had one? A couple of the older, um, you know, the New Orleans style design that they had at one time. A couple of those buildings had it, but they were old and they didn't have very much space there. And then I want to say Tasty had one. DNY had a space and then the new plaza where Sharpers Ferry is uptown, eh? They had a little space covering, but not much. And another problem is you guys, they have to have benches. Picture this. If you have a baby or children and you get caught on the roads here, keep in mind, there's no place to sit down. So you're stuck in the middle of the, this weather. There's no shelter, right? With a baby standing there. No got to have proper shelter for the people then this is just ridiculous so um yeah go and see that that's implemented right away and uh, finish fixing up the roadways there's still the hole up and i'm um, going towards dunvalls river that's a really massive sinkhole so you got to fix that up quick fast and in a hurry and yeah just see to the people have proper shelter right um now we're gonna have to put some more mall in the laneway here because there's a big massive hole there so i'll see if i can manage to get that done hopefully soon um and yeah you guys remember to support us here go to paypal at the gmail.com um yeah 
were able to make some food and stuff yesterday for some people here that were really grateful for it. Man, they were, they were thankful. So, um, yeah. So we just want to say thank you to the powers that be for implementing all these affidavits for us here again. And yeah, we'll wait to see what's going to happen. But I don't see there being an election. I don't see the purpose of it because things have to get taken care of. And um, yeah. Wow. Sydney Powell on Anthony, Anthony Weiner's laptop um, with life insurance folder. Um, you guys can click on this link and then you'll see all of these things here listed. Um, yeah. And then international authorities go and investigate the consumer affairs chief here. See if it's a legitimate operation or are they also committing treason? Did they get bribed? Did they get bribed from Pegasus traders? That's what I want to know. Is that what's going on? Oh God. <laughs> I'd like to wake up one day, you guys, and just hear that all this corruption is stopped. So just go and investigate that for us as well, too, and see if, um, yeah, let them know everything is being recorded so they could see what happened here and what happened there. So they know that they were lying, right? They sent us some pictures here yesterday, and some people had commented, and I wanted to read some of the comments in the comment section. So thank you in advance for your speedy response to that matter. By Noble Honorable Ange, Alina D. Alfred L. Rubenite Tribe Chief, American Indian, Alodi Otava, Moorish American National, UCC 1-308, without recourse, all rights reserved. I stand by the Book of Ruth, by my deceased organ harvested husband, Jackson. Now, to kolot kranaiti, 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 kiha, kagi, nanoko, e, e, kutena, kogi, nata, kranaiti, koi, tarara, kai, nanoko, toku, nata, kranaiti, ki, I heard that Trump did a 60 minutes um, interview with this lady who was one of the deep state agents. Peace and love and blessings to you, Empress. Thank you for sharing, Carly Bay. Thank you, Carly Bell. Bay. Peace and love and blessings to you, Carly Bay. Now, um, Linda Nick says, I live in Indiana. The town I live in is named after an Indian chief. We are who's... Hoosiers, Hosers, Hosers, Hoover, Hoosiers, and known for covered bridges. Here we have a covered bridge in our park. Okay, so I was doing covered bridge. I didn't know what they were. I thought they were like shelters for slaves or something. Like they could give them a map and say if something happens, just go under the covered bridge. Grand Rising Empress, Mother, peace and love to all tribes. And then, um, oh, Copper Aborigines, thank you so much for your comment. I have yet to read it. Shalawan, everyone, all praises to the living creator um, that gives life and gives us the grown, the growth of earth. Albert Jackson says, high praises for the master creator of life. Shalom, 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 shalom to you, Albert Jackson. And JL says, good morning. Thank you for sharing. The president is in my territory. Go Trump, 2020. Um, where we go one, we go all. Yes, JL, that's awesome. So uh, cop Roberts is right. These people are um, the so-called higher ops are using this pandemic for. Yes, we heard something this morning, cop Roberts. Can you imagine this? They sent me Ross Kitchen's video this morning, right? Matthew was traveling from Toronto to Jamaica, Kingston, right? So he was talking about the Babylonian system. There was nobody, by the way, in the Canadian airport, Toronto airport, which I thought that was mind blowing. So there he was with the mask and he was explaining that they had the, the test, the um, thermometer and all this crap. And they put an app on the phone that he's supposed to check in daily for his temperature. And I'm like, really? Idiots. Anyways, where, what was baffling to me was a few things basically. As you guys know, very few people here have internet access, right? No, they have internet access in Montego Bay, Kingston, and some of the areas, right? But there's a lot of rural areas that do not have it. Where Ross Kitchen is located, I don't even think they have um, access to internet. So Matthew was saying, how is he going to connect to the app, right? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Anyways, you see the corruption. These people put themselves in hot water and they know people don't have access to some crap. 
Ross Kitchen was saying that they had reported that they were going to, oh my God, they were going to smoke out this so-called virus. I'm laughing, you guys, because they do this smoking thing with mosquitoes here, right? Where they come around with this so-called truck and they spray this pesticide in the atmosphere and stuff that's supposed to kill off the mosquitoes and the next day you have Mosquito City, right? So Ross Kitchen was saying that if they spray the people in that, all they're going to be doing is killing out the people. So international authorities go and round up that agent with the spray. <laughs> Whoever has a spray truck and the spray bottle, just put them in a room and spray them. Right? They like it so much. Spray them. Shit. Right? And then remove the spray from the planet because I don't even know what the hell they're spraying in the first place. And send the proper stuff for the mosquitoes. That's not going to harm the people, they may. Anyway, so here's Copper Aborigines saying something similar. These people are the so-called ups, higher ups, so-called higher ups, are using the so-called pandemic separation, social separation. I'm not saying there's nothing happening because I went to a place in Detroit not long ago and there's a memorial service for all those who have lost their lives during this, this pandemic. I saw so many photos of people I knew personally that are no longer with us of all ages. Something is attacking people's respiratory system, which takes their breath away. It's the 5G stuff that they had, eh? This medical association claimed it's COVID. It's not. Um, we're known, wait, wait, wait. We're known there's a name for every disease, but this one, it, um, excerpt, except, wait, 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 wait. Um, except this one um, is titled, um, I told you one of the workers titled it um, M19A. M19 is what he's calling it. M19, he says this M19 one has been the worst one. Out of SARS and Ebola and all of them, right? Which the higher ups are using the word quarantine to separate us from each other. Yes, it's, it's house arrest, job last. They're under house arrest and they put the people in house arrest, right? Prisonment. Anyways, now I've heard Sister Noble L read about a man who was beaten, yes, beat the man to a pulp on his own land, working, <laughs> that he was working, yes, he's a farmer, copper, can, can you believe that, you guys, this little farmer's on his land, farming, and sometimes you have to do things with the moon, right, you have to do it when the, the, the moon has to be like a full moon or a certain thing, depending on what you're planting, right, man's out there trying to make a living, and here's this idiot, in a costume carrying a weapon, claiming to be private mercenary over there beating the man to a pulp. For what reason, I do not know. Make sure international authority find him and take his ass out. Do unto others as you've had others do unto you. Beat his ass. Um, Sister Noble L mentions the people came out seeing this man. Yes, and they're begging for him. Um, this man being beaten. Um, and the people were crying and begging and pleading with them to stop beating him. For these beasts to stop beating him. But now the dear man can't take... Yeah, he can't manage because they beat him too badly. And now he's all damaged. <sighs> Boy. I know this sister is calling for the arrest of these involved. Yes, go and round their asses up. These people do this to us because really we aren't standing up. Because these beasts are putting them... You know what's happening to them, Calpar Aborigines? Let me tell you something. There's a God here. This is why I always talk about God, eh? Um, mm, when you think, when they least expect it, God goes and slaps them in the head. When they're sitting there um, uh, pussyfooting around one day, totally forgetting what happened, eh? God will go and take them out. Because I heard some stories here. Since I've been here um, growing up in this culture and stuff, our elders and our people around us always tell us stories. And um, what's interesting is there's a group of them. It's not just the one that beat the man recently. There was a whole bunch of them that was doing this stuff to the people. Them. In fact, this other guy was explaining to me that there was a couple of them that used to go down to the market. That's another thing. International authorities, here's what they're doing here. And you guys remember when this video started, um, I was begging for the people here, the farmers, because what these agencies, mercenaries, were actually doing to them. Okay, so they would, the people would have their goods that they're selling, right? The provisions and stuff. These mercenaries, these private mercenaries working for the United Nations, also 
uh, another thing, the Red Cross, go and round up those Red Cross agents. You saw them in Savlamar a couple days ago. Again, at the place that we're asking for it to be a food court. Go and shut down the Red Find the agent here that's allowing them to come over here. Because we shut them down and already leaned their asses up. Go and round them up. I don't want to see them here ever over by the bus park area. Remove them, right? Because I don't know why they're coming over to take our blood if COVID exists. Okay? Doesn't that mean the people are supposed to be infected if they're under quarantine and house arrest? Go and round them up for the fraudulent conveyance of freaking la language and, and lying to the masses, right? Okay. In addition to that, now, well, where was I? So what these private mercenaries have been doing, going down to the people in their market uh, goods, uh, claiming that they're um, in the roads and stuff and stealing the, the people's uh, provisions and produce, go and find those agents that was doing that and go and round them up for that and have them give back the finances to the people them that's trying to feed their families, stealing all their, their, their goods, okay? They'd go in there and knock over the carts Take up all of their stuff, okay? People are running and trying to hide their stuff to protect themselves. Madness. Freaking madness, man. Go and round them up this night. Each and every one of them that was involved in that, right? All right. Now, I heard, um, where was I? Copper averages have gone off. I've got to find my spot in this. Um, they go away high fiving. Yes. They take the people's stuff and high-five each other while the people stand and cry. Um, what's wrong with this picture? What's wrong with the picture is that people are just traumatized from all the years and years of bullshit that they've been subjected to, right? The miseducation of the system with this fraudulent school system that's in currently. Um, don't let not one of those agents doing business as teachers step foot in any school platform unless they're teaching the truth this time, right? I'm sick of that shit watching a whole generation grow up and not have any sense. I can't even read anymore. Copper, I'm pissed off now. Mad, you guys can go and read the rest of this because it's making me mad. Copper, i just reading this stuff, thinking about the stuff that our people have gone through. Because if you have to think about all the stuff that people have to go through to get the stuff in the first place, only to have these agents come along and steal it from them, eh? Right? And put them in all kinds of hot water, right? Here's Charlie Ward talking to Pete Evans this morning. I haven't listened to the whole thing. Um, here's Ross Kitchen with um, Matthew, who just come from um, Canaanite Land, Canada, explaining what's going on at the airports and that, right? So you guys can watch Ross Kis Kitchen and see all the stuff that he was subjected to while um, traveling here. And Ross Kitchen, the great thing about where they're located is right that what? <laughs> they're adjacent to the river. So <laughs> he just built up another little house um, on the property. And uh, you guys can go and stay with Ross Kitchen where he'll make some I wanted to come back food. a few and, months ago. Uh, here's the river. And due to the situation, and, um, was not able to. Yeah. They, so here's Wani uh, and Ross Fire's yeah. yard. Just incredible, right? Looking a little overgrown, so, boys. Um, That's how she goes. In this location. <laughs> Feeling refreshed. I've been watching this for years. And um, yeah, what was funny about this particular one, though, um, somebody sold um, Mako, which is Ra's Kitchen, right? These girl jeans. So when you see the video, you'll see Ra's Mucka in this tight, tight, tight jeans that you know are women's jeans, right? I thought that was funny. So, um, yeah, just going around them up this night. Hmm. They're saying that 10 to 20% of the people were very much awake. 58% um, were still sleeping. Um, the rest were clueless. I mean, completely clueless. Um... They need to get the 50% instead of 58%. They need to get... Yeah, they'll be the tipping point for the landslide. <clears throat> I already see him like winning, you guys. <coughs> I already saw like he's won. So, um, yeah, you guys remember to support us here. Uh, join the new channel, Noble L. For those of you with ticket citations, mortgages, foreclosures, child support cases. Also, for those of you having to see an agent doing business as parole officer, 
as well as those of you in for nonviolent offenses. Mm. For nonviolent offenses, you can email us for the GSA bond templates to set off. Set off the matters as people are reporting to us that they've gotten their houses back, their autos back, they've gotten free from jails and that, and um, won their cases and stuff. You guys, just be careful. You know what? I just like to see all the internationals going around of those corrupt agents working in those buildings doing business courts, eh? Um, which are secretly banks. Just go around them up this night. That'd be really beneficial, right? Them and the fake news media heads. Anyways, you can email us with the JSA bond templates in the 1099 OID to get by the finances they claimed you owed. And for also those of you in the churches doing business as jail known for non-violent offenses, you can also email us for the do not detain affidavit, the IRS status correction, and also the um, manufacturer certificate of origin so you own the automobile, the chain to the sky book, the herbology book, and our book, Times the Master, Time is the Key. And you can also join our online tutor school class here um, where we share with you the laws and history of some of what's gone on, right, that we know so far. I like to pray and put a hedge of protection around all that is good out there globally that is helping us and trying to free us from all this stuff. Um, they sent me some other stuff here that I wanted to go through, and I got sidetracked talking so much this morning too getting pissed off at some of the stuff that's going on because I don't like to see the people um yeah yesterday we, we saw um was it yesterday or the day before I think it was yesterday somebody at the market had a mask on a baby so I had to get mad and tell them take the goddamn mask off are you crazy <laughs> too many people are dying man don't be doing something stupid in this time especially to a little baby that doesn't have any ability to talk for themselves this was another map that they sent us, Navajo, Hopi, Zuni, Apache, Mojave, and then these other places I can't pronounce. You guys see that? Where is this? This is the Americas. So I wonder, I see these maps and I'm wondering where exactly these places are located. I just thought that was interesting, you know? <clears throat> so you're not going to move so I can see it? Really? Okay, here it is. Um, and now I can't bring it up. You guys see that? Uh, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio. Is this what it is today? Chicago, Springfield, Kentucky. These are the names of it today, right? And then it was, um, these are the names that it was prior to that. Um, these different forts. Uh, I can't even pronounce Saxville. Fort. Um, Jeffer. Um, Hampton, Fort Hamilton, sorry, Fort Jefferson, okay, uh, Fort Rosemary, Fort Defiance, Fort Mayans, before it was, um, now it's Michigan, Detroit, Fort Wayne, um, Tipper Carney, um, Tipper Can, Indiana, Lafayette, Indianapolis, whatever, right? Thought that was interesting. Then we have here. Mm, this one. Do you guys see this one? Let me see if I can move it up. Move it this way. Move it that way. What are these here? Oh, this is a cartoon. Give me on. Michigan. Oh, it's a ch is it for children? Are they? What's going on here? Oh, this is like a little cartoon as to what happened. Indiana. Getting tired out. Now let's see here. Mm. Third land. What's the third land? Really? I'm trying to bring it up, you guys. Let's see if we can bring it up. Nope. Didn't even register. Hang on. Nope. Nope. Amazing. So much for that idea. Anyways, this one's called Their Land. And if you allow me to bring it up, it'd be really great and stuff, but it's not allowing me to do that. 
they might sell that one. So hold on. Mm. And who's there? T H E I R. Are they talking about us? T H I E R. Sorry. Hmm. Then you have this map here Western Mono, Eastern, um, Eastern or Owens Valley. What? Pot? P A U P A I U T E. Okay, let's see. And then the dead wood I was talking about yesterday. Deadwood is a national historic landmark. I still don't know why they called it dead work. Are they talking about us? Are they saying we're dead trees or dead plants? Because they made us dead in the eyes of the law, similar to Mortus under the 14th Amendment. Broken boot gold mine. I don't understand these words. Okay. All right, you guys, let's see here. Adams Museum, Saloon 10. This is like an aerial view. Where is this? Hickok Grave Depot, USGS map. Adam's house. I don't know where this is. Did something happen at saloon number 10? Is this the underground military bases? Is that what you're talking about? The depot and are these dumps? Are these underground military bases we're looking at? Comment below you guys. Remember, go back to the original channel Noble L for a lot more remedies and stuff there as well. And subscribe to the new channel, um, Noble L the Second. Remember to give the videos a thumbs up. Remember to comment in the comment section below. Um, people are reporting that their channel is also getting subjected to stuff. I think it was Liberal Hive Mind. <laughs> what was funny about it though, he was saying he normally gets like, I want to say 300 to 500 to maybe a million views and like no time's flat, right? Ours, we're lucky to get. <laughs> Our highest video here, I think, is 19,000 views. Oh, my gosh. So I'm just praying to God that those bots and all the stuff that's going on with the algorithm stuff will be removed for the very uh, monopoly and going against the antitrust laws. So if you could do that now, it'd be really great and put things back to normal. Eh? Thank you in advance for your speedy response to that matter. By Noble, Honorable Angela, Elena D. Alfred L. Rubenite Tribe Chief, American Indian, Lodial Title, Moorish American National, UCC 1-308 without recourse, all rights reserved. And when you guys go to the new channel, you're going to see here, I have posted all these great videos. And I noticed that their names are very interesting and just one word. 777, honor, calm, laugh, love, why? Bold move, it's done. These are great videos, man. Great movies with some really great information like 777 books in the Bible that we only got 700 only got 66. We're owed 711 books. So waiting for that to show up. Honor. Oh yeah, this is when they did all that crap. And why? And the Bretton House Agreement. And um, yeah, us just standing up. Like, share, subscribe, you guys. Have yourself a great day wherever you are. Remember to laugh and love. Remain in honor and true to you. To thine own self be true. Remember to support us here. Go to paperlatthemalangs at gmail.com. Remember to give these videos a thumbs up. 
And remember to, um, yeah, just, you know, faith without works is dead, you guys. Faith without works is dead. Do you put you in it because you matter, right? Have yourself a great day.